Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable for this edition. Spooky season's coming up. We might talk about that. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, guys, do you think that The Rock actually gets casted into movies or does he just show up to like random sets and say, I'm now in this movie? Yes. Because he's in everything. He is. Him and Kevin Hart. Yeah. If like I was, they're both if I like, was filming yeah. a movie and, 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 and The, the Rock, Rock showed, showed up, up, I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, let's, let's put him in it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, I was right? watching... It's watching a, uh, there's a new thing coming out on Netflix that has Ryan Reynolds and The Rock. Yes. Like the two golden boys of like film and cinema right now. <laughs> I forget the name of it. It's called like a red something. But it's like, like, I had that thought. It's like the, the Rock is literally in everything at this point. He's just, he is. He's just one of those guys you can't get tired of. That's true. No. That's he's, true. He's so good on screen. Him, him and Samuel L. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll watch anything with Sam Jackson in it for sure. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> and the Rock, and the Rock. What about Ryan Reynolds? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, unless he goes like rom com, I might. Oh yeah, I might bail. Yeah, Which is kind of how he got to start, but now he's kind of moved off to. Did he do rom coms? <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know a lot. Oh my about God, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. No, uh, didn't he do that? What was it? S- something with Sandra Bullock once. <gasps> yes, he did the oh, proposal. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never seen it. Maybe maybe it's good. I... It's wholesome. It's definitely a wholesome film, but it's like rom com. It's like like painted through and through, right? Like eventually, like you could just watch any rom com, like the beginning of a rom com, and you already know like what the ending is gonna be because it's like it's just so like paint by numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty predictable. Predictable. Yeah. There we go. That's how you pronounce like a... that. Yeah. Well, Matthew McConaughey got his start in rom coms too. A lot of rom coms. Like he was the rom com golden boy for like until the uh, the, years? What, the, the reconnaissance or whatever it is. The uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. Yeah yeah. Well, he did. Uh, what was that movie where it was the astronaut? Uh, Interstellar. Interstellar. Yeah yeah yeah. We had like a couple of like astronaut movies like in that time frame. We also had The Martian with uh, Matt Damon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was okay. Yeah. It, it's, kind, it's kind of funny because, like, it, in Interstellar, it's like uh, Matt Damon's in it. So everybody was kind of joking. The end of The Martian was, like, <laughs> part of actually Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> Here's a reference he, for you. He tried to take that with a grain of salt. What, the, the Matt Damon? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Did he? You can tell from interviews that he still is a little salty <laughs> about it. I, I think we should throw it in, like, a Team America clip. Yeah, somewhere. This is Matt Damon, because all I can say is Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. What was the um during like the? Sorry, during the um like the space movies and stuff. Didn't like Gravity come out around the same time too? Yeah, I think or it was, was that later? Like, uh, mid, a little later. Mid twenty tens was kind of a. Oh, was it? Okay, my bad. Um, Gravity was great. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the excellent movie. Got to see that in IMAX. Oh, did, yeah. I, I that was one of those movies that was kind of made for IMAX. Yeah, yeah. You want to be like immersed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You don't want to watch that on like a little like twelve inch like, like, black your, and black and white television. Yeah, like on your phone <laughs> or on your phone. <laughs> uh, who was the director that was saying like you shouldn't be watching movies on your phone? Oh, uh, uh, I know. I know David Lynch had that approach. Was it Lynch? That's important. He's like, who the? This is a quote, and I'm gonna swear. Incoming. He was like, who wants to watch a movie on their f- phone? <laughs> Okay, but, like, seriously, though, like, the screen is so small. Like, I know, like, Netflix, you can download, like, an app and you can watch, like, from wherever. But, like, yeah, why would I want to watch, like, a movie, like, on a bus or something like that? You know, like, that's just, that does, it, I don't know. Oh, yeah. If, you, if you're traveling and you, like, have no other way of, like, burning time. Yeah, if it's, I, if it's a past time. I can like, see it, yeah. Okay. It, like, but I but no see, one's like, getting it, on a bus to watch a movie. Not, not like Yeah, like, that's weird. Yeah. 
maybe like a, a greyhound, but not not like bumming yeah. around a city. Like yeah, I have three stops. I'm going to watch ten minutes of uh, I don't know what the Jedi. <laughs> the there you the go. Jedi. <laughs> well, like that's the thing too. I get so like immersed into like the into my movies and stuff that like I would probably miss my stop, and then I would be like, oh. I am on the completely wrong side of town, and um, yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, the the only way like I'll stop watching like a movie and then pick it up later is if I fall asleep watching yes. watching whatever. And it's not because I fell asleep because I was bored. It's because I was fell asleep because I have a stupid sleep schedule. <laughs> you do. <laughs> so you kind of do. I keep falling asleep to a salmon game, which I <laughs> accidentally really? called it. Last episode, yeah, it? it's, it's it's yeah, Squid Game. Squid Game is yeah. the real the real title, but I kept calling it <laughs> Salmon Game. It is a it's a fun show though. Uh, it is good. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, I keep falling asleep to it, and I don't. Know I'm why. kind of amazed at how long the episodes are. They're like, yeah, they. they it, it, it's almost like a mini series because every episode's like 50 minutes or so. Yeah, like there's That's nothing. Impressive. At least as far as I've watched, there's nothing clocking in under like 50 minutes. Yeah. So. Nice. That's cool. Is, is that? Remind me, sorry, because I've I've seen it pop up on my Netflix. But is that the one where they like grab a bunch of people and they're like, you can pay off your debts and like win a ton yeah. of money if you play these kids' games, but they end up being like super deadly. Yeah, it's kind of a mix up of like ja, uh, Saw and uh, Battle, Battle Royale. Royale. Yeah. Interesting combo. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, kind of reminds me of. Uh, anime I saw recently called uh, Kaiji. It's kind of the same thing. This guy's in debt. So uh, he ends up playing like paper, scissors, rock, uh, like on this uh, cruise ship. and like Which is where you play that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But, but like they get a bunch of people in debt and like uh, basically if you – if you you have like three stars and that's basically your your three lives. So if you lose three games in a row, they basically oh, okay. pull you off to another room and then you're never seen again. So it, it's kind Ooh. of this uh, psychological thing where he's trying to figure out like the strategy for like paper scissors rock and stuff like that. It's pretty weird. Did you know there's a rock paper scissors like national championship? I bet there is. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I was it was at the uh, oh, where was it? Crap, I can't remember. It, not the horseshoe. Either way. There is like a, a final. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, there's a competition. There's a professional rock, paper, scissors players out there and they just. That's crazy. Do you, do you think the rock shows up <laughs> and they're like. I hope so. Paper. You can't participate. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> just like the rock. Just like whenever you say the rock, he just shows up. He's like, what's up, guys? Yeah. It's like Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to say his name in the say mirror his name three, three times. times. Yeah. And he shows up back in your movie. Whether you want he to, he gets or... you. He starts uh, getting you to work out at like four a.m. Yeah. and doing like crazy workouts <laughs> until you're like basically dead. <laughs> Eat some cod. It's like, yep. We're just here playing hand games, man. <laughs> well, Frank. Like side note. Uh, speaking of like The Rock and his crazy workouts, I think like uh, watched like Hobbs and Shaw recently, and in like one of the scenes, it's like. They're like at a he's at a diner with his daughter or something, and they bring him out his meal, and it's like a pancake stack, like just like massive, right? It's crazy how much that man eats. <laughs> I don't know if he actually ate that stack. I know, oh, I, I know you're talking. I mean, he probably could. Yeah, he probably like, <laughs> probably would not be a problem at all. Well, because it's like I like I remember watching somewhere that it's like for when he's like on set and he's like getting ready for a movie and stuff it say he has to have a call time at 7 a.m it's like he'll wake up at 3 a.m and do like two three hour workout and then get ready for the shoot so like i wouldn't be surprised if like he actually did eat all of that <laughs> because he, the man is massive yeah he maintains his mass i don't know it's, I'm, it's I'm, scary i'm thinking he's gonna eat a lot of meat not dough you know what i mean well no because uh, his cheat days. I don't know if you've ever seen his Instagram or his like uh, socials and stuff, but like, he posts his cheat days and the amount he eats is kind of insane. But what's he eating? Fish. Like for his... I think. I, yeah, I, like I, I, I might be yeah. thinking of Jason Momoa, uh, but one of them, they, they eat a tremendous amount of cod. Cod's good. Yeah. Yeah. Cod's Not, delicious. Thumbs up to cod. Yeah. It's, it's a good protein. Yeah, like the Rock's cheat days are like... Well known, like it's insane how much he eats. Well, he got it to be that big. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, it's, it's almost like 
If you're that Impressive. big, you need to make a lot of money to well, you, afford a house that can fit you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's like that's you, why it's constantly showing up people's sets and going like, hey, guys. Yeah, hey. hey. I'm, I'm in this movie now. It smells like bacon over here. It got my attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rock smells what you're cooking. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was well done, sir. <laughs> Well, we I, should just end the show right there. I was waiting. Yeah. I was waiting. He, he should really do like a, a cooking show with like Gordon Ramsay or something. No. Oh my God. Danny Trejo. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. That would be sick. If he doesn't have his own cooking show, I don't watch a lot of TV. But I don't. I does Danny, should, no, I don't think Danny Trejo does. Can we make him one? We just I like contact cool. him. I, don't watch that. I, I think he actually owns uh, yeah, he's got some a restaurants. Yeah, he's got a spot. Yeah. I he's think, got yeah, tons. probably a couple. Yeah. And he's got a book too. Does he? Oh. Yeah, cookbook. Nice. I actually cooking yeah, with machete. Um, yeah. It, it's like a uh, it's like tacos and like all the stuff he serves in his restaurant. Um, Chris actually got me uh, uh, the cookbook from him, and like I've used a couple recipes now, and my God, is it good? I bet. Such good food. The man knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Well. Halloween's coming up in about a month. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Most wonderful time of the year. It is. It is. Yes, it is. Um, there's some... Stranger Things has released a trailer. Yeah. Another one for, like, season four. Oh, did they? Yeah. Um, there's, like, a little kind of 1950s flashback. Um, okay. And then, like, the kids go into, like, this hunt. I say kids, but th- those, like, the kids from Stranger Things yeah. are, like, 20 now. Yeah, they're not off to call. Are they? Yeah, but like Stranger Things what? was like 2016, so it's been yeah. like six years. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's just oh, that, it's weird. just that the stuff that they've been in like has been in production hell due to like the uh, the oh. virus and the coof. Yeah. So, but yeah, like Ghostbusters had the one kid in it. Oh uh, yeah, Wolfgang or whatever his name is. I think I can't. He's a, I kinda, he's actually been in, he's been in quite a few films like outside of. Um, yeah. Stranger Things. Same thing with um. Oh my God. What's her name? Nine. Oh, seven. I can't remember. Or eleven or like, yeah. I, uh, I, I, eleven or Millie whatever. something. Millie. Millie Weaver. Wait, no. Millie. Oh, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. There we go. Who's Millie? Um, she's been in I, quite I a few movies it. too. Like she was in Godzilla. She was in like the yep. most recent ones of those. And yeah, there was like um, an X Men type movie. I think yeah. that she was in. Uh, awesome. Yep. Yeah. She's also in uh, what was the one? Enola Holmes. The one that was under oh, yeah, fire. Oh yeah, was on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so they they have like quite a f- like few like success stories from them too. I remember the redhead girl was in um, Eli too. Okay, there is a lot like of the... stuff I don't watch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so uh, Eli one was like a horror movie on um, Netflix. It was about this boy who was in like a bubble because he was allergic to everything, and they take him to this house and apparently they can cure him and stuff. Yeah, I've never it's even really heard of this. It's a good watch. There's a lot of stuff on like Netflix that like nobody's heard of. True, yeah. but Witcher Two. Uh, uh, I'm a, I'm not. I can't say I'm excited for it. No. No. Really? Yeah. How come? I couldn't even make it through the first season. Really? That. But now, I, granted, that's probably my fault though. I, I'm not blaming the show. Uh, I do have a criticism for the first season. Is that like until you got to the end and figure out where everything was in the timeline, it was a confusing mess. Yeah, like I, 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 I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I had to watch it twice. Yeah, because, just because like the yeah. timeline was a little confusing. Yeah, but they I hop around in time so very it. much. Yeah, yeah. But like, is, isn't the because The Witcher is a video game, and then yeah. it was originally a book series, a, a Polish yeah, book yeah. series. Yeah. And then a game, then a show. Yep. Okay. Even so, the game I didn't like. Uh, I well, I only played Witcher 2. Yeah. I've only tried the first one and I couldn't really get into it. I, I think yeah. 3 apparently is like the, the good one, quote unquote. Maybe well, maybe it, because I was coming off like a, a very large and long Assassin's Creed yeah. stint. Uh, and then I switched into that. And, another open world game. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know if I sabotaged myself or not. Yeah. But I, I just couldn't get into The Witcher. Okay. That's all. No, that's, that's fair. That, that is... I don't know. That is fair. Um, yeah. But speaking There's of... There's parts of... Speaking of video games... Sorry. <laughs> uh, they re-released Diablo 2 this week. Yes, they did. Oh, for did $55. They? What? 
I looked How it much? up. Are you serious? Fifty-five dollars for a twenty-year-old game. It looks pretty, what? but I'm not paying fifty-five dollars for Diablo no. Two. I'm sorry. No. Who's no, gonna pay fifty-five dollars? I don't even for... think I paid fifty-five dollars for it back in like nineteen ninety-seven or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Ninety-six. So like, I gotta. I'm, bad with I'm not really. I'm not really big into the video game scene, so like. Why did they remake? Like, did they remake it? Did they just up the graphics on it, they, or was they, it just so successful they decided to do like a? This is like the anniversary release. They did. Uh, I think it's technically a remake because I think they had to rebuild so much. From, yeah, I think you're right. like the gameplay is pretty much the same. I think, but you know, the graphics are updated and everything. The okay. thing the thing was in the Diablo series was uh, Diablo one was okay. Diablo two was. Everybody believes it's fantastic. <laughs> and then Diablo 3 was kind of a downgrade. Yeah, that was a bit of a dumpster fire. <laughs> yeah. So, like, even when, like, years in Diablo 3, is like, everyone was like, oh, man, wish I could go back to Diablo 2. <laughs> and, of course, Blizzard was like, dollar signs. Man. So, 55 bucks, though. I was like, that's yeah, crazy. What? Maybe 30, but holy crap, 55. I, was, I looked it up. I was like, no. Nope, not going to happen. And Blizzard's been having some issues. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. So they should be putting everything on sale. Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, there's a, lo- there's a lot of streamers and stuff, too, that are, like, boycotting their games. They're like, yo, don't play anything under the Blizzard, like, umbrella, which is, like, a lot. Yeah. Like, I did not realize how much Blizzard, like, produced in, like, the gaming world, but holy crap. Yeah, a lot of people jumped off World of Warcraft and went to, like, Final Fantasy fourteen or something like that. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go. I, uh, I, I, I couldn't uh, imagine to like still being playing like World of Warcraft these days though. Yeah, right. Like that's been on the go for like fifteen years. Well, isn't like World of Warcraft like one of the most played games in like the world? Yeah. Uh, I think Fortnite might have t- Fortnite has probably taken the, uh, yeah. Down. yeah. I could be wrong. I'm, but but uh, Fortnite's definitely Yeah, to play the f- Fortnite's getting banned too off platforms. Oh, oh what? Yeah, the they won't Apple won't sell it on their yeah. platform now. Uh, the mobile version, I think. What the hell happened to Fortnite? Uh, some sort I have of no idea. Yeah, some sort of licensing or, or something like that. Uh, Epic basically got like a monopoly on it, or they want like a bigger cut or something like that. So Apple's like, nope, yeah. we want to be on our platform and got played by our roles and Epic's. Well, I, like okay, I, I, Apple can definitely pull that card though. Oh yeah, yeah. They did the same to the BitChute app. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Google Google won't list uh, the BitChute app. the The app apparently can still get it though. I tried, but I couldn't. Yeah, I I haven't tried looking for it, but uh, yeah. Sorry, like, are we talking about Apple blacklisted BitChute or yeah. uh, Google Play did? Uh, I know Both. Google did. I don't know about Apple. Yeah, I'm not sure about. Yeah, I'm not sure about the entirety of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, you, if you have an Android phone, yeah, you're out of luck. Interesting. Well, it's so weird. It's it's just a platform. Like yeah. <laughs> we pl- like we like Bitchute. Yeah, we love you, Bitchute. If you're watching this on Bitchute, I'm gonna put the logo <laughs> just right up over here, just for a second, because <laughs> it's fun we're not getting endo- yeah. We're not getting endorsed by Bitchute, but no, we're not. No, not at all. Yeah, it's a platform for videos. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, another kind of. <laughs> you sound worried. No, I, I'm, I'm, my brain is switching gears, and that takes a lot of effort. The hamsters in there? Whew. Yeah, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of smoke. Yeah, a lot of smoke, you know. Fair enough. Got to grease them up a little bit. WD-40, do you want some? I can run back and... No, no. yeah, we'll, we'll, do it, we'll do it off air. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> we got Jiggaloo. <laughs> okay. Sitting like right on the desk. Uh, I was going to say, though, because I, I love <laughs> giant robots... Hey, okay, let's yeah. do Giant Robots. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, MechWarrior 5 released a DLC nice. this week, and you can now punch things in your Giant Robots. Hold on, you can now punch things? Yeah, you can. You that can should now. be. Yeah, wait a minute. It, it should be default. But yeah. Yeah, but this is the first MechWarrior game where you can punch things. The first? Yep. What? You should be able to punch things. If you're playing a video game and you can't punch something. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That seems a little wrong. You, well, you can do it now. They're, ma- they're making a Mario <laughs> game. They're making a Mario movie. Yeah, with Chris Pratt. Yes. People and are mad. Everybody no. is upset. People are big mad. Yeah. Why? Okay. okay. Is it, I'm assuming it's live action. <laughs> no, no. No. Animated. 
So here, here's the thing. A lot of people. Yeah, he's are, voicing Mario. Yeah. A lot oh of people. Oh my god. And that's that's kind of the issue for people is because the guy who did the has been doing the Mario voice for no. like twenty years. Oh, probably longer than that. Everybody's like, why why didn't you just get the Mario actor? Why why do you need Chris Pratt? Which is understandable, but Chris Pratt has been the lead voice in the Lego movies. That's true. So I mean, he's proven himself as like a lead voice actor uh, oh, for sure. that can carry like a, a big kind of franchise animated film so yeah, is, it, is he gonna sound I, like I, mario, I, I, do, I do feel bad for the like the original mario voice actor though it's like what you you have him why not just use him right yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's interesting a, that's a tough one seth rogan is donkey kong <laughs> what? yeah uh i mean it makes sense it does but still like the, the, the one that gets me is uh is it key keenan from Key and Peele, he's Toad. Toad has a voice. Toad has, yeah. <laughs> my me. thoughts exactly. What? Yeah. No. Uh, what? I forget, and I forget the. Uh, I I have no idea who the like. I've seen the actress's name for Princess Peach, but like she's not someone who stands it for me. But uh, I don't know if you if you can keep talking, oh, I can look yeah, it up right Chris, now. Yeah, Chris is going. To, but uh, yeah, yeah. That's the, interesting. Chris Pratt thing. I, I, like I said, I, I do feel bad for like the original voice actor that Nintendo's been using for like, you know. For sure, but like I also I also see why they use Chris Pratt. Cause it's the same thing. Like I think we talked about this on the last podcast, where it's like you're looking for people that are gonna get our actors and like actresses and stuff that get people into the seats, right? So it's like hardcore fans of Mario would know who the voice actor is, but if you put Chris Pratt into the lead, then more people are gonna like you're gonna grab more of a wider demographic right yeah it's it's gonna be like mario's voice i think is kind of ingrained in everyone's yeah brain. like the like the mario 64 it's a me mario you know it's <laughs> yeah like it's the it's a classic like everybody right. knows that voice so i'm really interested to, to see how how that works out because like I'm o- like I am like always the kind of person where it's like you know what like if I don't agree with the acting like choice it's like that's fine like I will wait until I see the movie before I make like any final judgments okay. kind of thing. I haven't found the answer to the princess problem. Yeah, but uh, Jack Black <laughs> is playing Bowser. Yes, so that's kind of cool. Yes, ah, I'm so stoked for that. <laughs> yeah, Seth Rogen will be Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong kind of fits. It does. Wait, does that mean James Franco is going to, like, show up at some point? <laughs> are, That'd be amazing. Yeah, aren't they on the edge, <laughs> though? I thought Rogan and, and Franco were. Are they? Yeah. yeah, I think there's some bad blood there. Oh. Yeah. I think they're wasn't on the there, like, so. Wasn't there, like, that issue where, it's like, James Franco was, like, kind of found to, like, be DMing, like, underage girls, like, on Instagram, being like, yo, you should come up to my hotel and stuff, and then Seth Rogan's like, that's kind of gross, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure. There, I remember that was an issue. Okay, uh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Chris Pratt as Mario. Yep. Yep. Covered that. Anya Taylor Joy as Peach. I have no idea. Who oh, that snap! Is. I don't know who that oh, is. Oh, uh, she, she was in Split. She's in um, Last Night in Soho, which is coming out soon. Uh, really, uh, Peaky Blinders as well. She's a really great actress. I'm really happy she got that, actually. Okay. So she's, yeah, she's Princess Peach. Uh, Charlie nice. Day as Luigi. No idea who that is, but I'm stoked that Luigi's in Charlie it. Charlie Day? Because he, yeah. Uh, Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know, like you know, the meme where like the guys like pointing and it's like there's stuff everywhere. The conspiracy theory. With like the red, the red, the red string. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. that's him. Jack Black as Brett as yeah. Bowser. Uh, Keegan Michael Key as Toad, which is still nice. strange to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Fred Armisen as Cranky Kong. Oh yeah, Fred Armisen. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I have you ever know. seen Portlandia? Uh, Port- yeah, Portlandia. Yeah. Uh, SNL, he was on. Um, yeah, he's been in a bunch of you'd things. You'd know him if you saw him. Yeah. Probably. Uh, just the name, I'm like. Uh... Yeah, Fred Armisen's good. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson has Kamek? I have no idea. Who I, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. That, I'm not I up think... on my, my Mario lore. And so, right? Me neither. Like a, a right? past Mario 3, like I'm. <laughs> That's such a good game. Yeah. Very good game. I can still play that by like memory. Mario 3? Yeah. I I can close my eyes and just walk through it. I've I've played that game so much. Oh, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco as Spike? 
Okay, I think Spike's one of the Bowser kids. Yeah, he's one of the yeah. Yeah. Like, mini bosses. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I got here. Yeah. Yoshi? Is Yoshi making an appearance? I, th- I, I think seeing... Daddy DeVito should be Yoshi. Oh, that'd be yes. A, that would be fantastic. <laughs> that'd right, be I'm incredible. Gonna, I'm going to get off my phone because I'm at a result. <laughs> but yeah, Daddy DeVito as Yoshi? <laughs> yeah. Can we, like, be sick. go find me that? Yeah, uh, I think so. I think we can make it happen. That'd be amazing. Yeah, it would be. It would be great. It would be. Side note, have you guys, speak, like, speaking of Toad and, like, that kind of stuff, have you ever seen Toad without, like, the mushroom cap on? Because that's not actually his head. It's a hat. I can't say that I have. It's a thing, apparently. No, no, I don't know how I came across this. fan fiction or something. There's no way. Toad has the mushroom. He's the uh, mushroom guy. Or, no, but the thing is, the mushroom guy, thing but... is a hat. It's not his head. You can take that well, off. Yeah, but he never has that I've seen. I know, I, but I like think... somebody, somebody showed a picture of him with the mushroom cap and without the mushroom cap, and it's mind blowing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna need to see Nintendo approved right. Toad without his mushroom hat on before I. Uh, what? Why is Peach like a it. human, and then like everybody else isn't? Mario's a human. Yeah, but he got like sucked into that world. At least according to the lore from the Super Mario cartoon back in the eighties. <laughs> this is this is a, a rabbit hole. I don't know if yeah. we want we, we do, have time do, to go do, down. Do you remember the, the Mario movie that came out in the nineties? John Leguizamo? Yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. There you go. I know people hate it. I don't. <laughs> it actually was really disappointing as a kid. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a Mario movie. And then you watch that, and it's like huh. yeah. the Goombas just has uh, apparently that look. shoot was like hell. Like yeah, apparently yeah. yeah. But uh, I even got that as a because I was fr- or my parents were friends with the people who owned the video store. Yeah. So I got like back when there was back when there was VHS, <laughs> they would send out copies to like Videos. video stores. Yeah. And it had that like that text scrolling across the bottom like half the time. It was like a oh, if yeah. you want to buy this movie to sell at your store. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. Anyhow, I got to see it before everybody else, and I was disappointed. And but I still like it. Yeah, it, it, it holds a special place in my heart. Video game adaptions have typically have not really done that well. Yeah. Yeah. Prince of Persia. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. Um, that. I didn't mind Prince of Persia, but I never played the game. And there was an Assassin's Creed movie. And yeah. remember that? Yes. Yeah, with Fazbender. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it was Fazbender. And yeah, there's been a ton. Of... Yeah, well, uh, Uli Bowl or whatever his name is. Uli Bowl. Yeah, the yeah, guy who did like a bunch of video game movies a- a- as tax write-offs. House of the Dead. House of the Dead. Yeah. yeah I did a few. Yeah. Street okay. Street Fighter with uh, oh, Van Dam. Van Dam. Yeah, and uh, oh, Gomez. Adams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forget his name. Uh, Julio something or uh, oh, Ra- Raul Raul Julia. Yeah, there we go. I think we got it. Yeah, and we, we might be wrong. Yeah, but I think we got it. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a weird tangent. Speaking of which, uh, well, I mean, we had that live action Mortal Kombat movie that came out earlier. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, which which was okay, yeah. but they they've done a couple of animated movies as well. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, they've been pretty decent. Nice. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. That's a classic character. Since the, the Mortal Kombat lore at this point must be so, like, because there's been, oh, like, 12 yeah. games. Yeah, they're they're in it. There's... Damn. I can't even keep up. Yep. I, I'm still playing Mortal Kombat 10. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm behind the times. Listen, all I, all I know is, like, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, and then that, that's it. That's as far as, like, I get in the lore. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a time to grow. Yeah. Apparently, Johnny Cage and like Sonya had a kid. Yeah, Cassie. Cassie. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite characters in in Mortal Kombat Ten. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay, I got. Okay, we're gonna switch. We're gonna change the pace here. Okay. In the new, uh, newest. Uh, what, oh, I'm trying to make this a segment, but I'm just gonna bail. <laughs> Whatever happened to Amazon? Delivering stuff by drones. Oh yeah, is that still a thing? Did that whatever happened um, with that? 
Did that, like, was that ever a thing, or were they just talking about it being a thing? I don't know. Uh, I think they might have done some pilots. Here's the thing. People are going to, like, shoot down those drones. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Even even when they were, like, promoting it, yeah. and they had, like, a little, they made a little EPK, and th- in the video, the guy is, like, coming out of his back door, Yeah. and he sees the drone, and he, even, like, the actor looks nervous. He's like, oh, man, how do I approach <laughs> this thing? Like... <laughs> What do I do? Yeah, he's got anxiety all over him. Yeah. That's how well, they choose to promote it. Not just that, though, but, like, if, like, drones, like, delivering packages became a thing, like, wouldn't that, like, they have to, like, figure out airspace and stuff like that? Yeah, that would like, be how to Like, how to properly do that so there was no, like, plane uh, crashes or... <laughs> I think... Altitude comes into it. Yeah. No, for sure, but, like, there would still be an issue with that, would it not? Uh, depends on how close you are to an airport. There's a lot of variables. <laughs> I, I yeah. know. As a drone pilot, that's right, Captain Chris. Yes. Oh God. Man, man, <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing that back. The man has paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Show yeah. his qualifications. But uh, yeah, no. I, what did Amazon just bail on that? Or I, yeah, I, I'm. I would assume so. Not I sure. think they like they they use that money and like to, to, to try to, to bust unions. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're pretty big on the union busting. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. I, I know that they've also tested, like, self-driving pizza delivery as well. Like, <laughs> like, you'll have, like, a car pull up to your house and you have to go out and open the door and grab the pizza. Ah, uh, that's sketchy. I don't like that. Yeah, no. Hmm. I can't see I that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, that is a little odd. Yeah. I, uh, no. Re- remember when the self-driving stuff was, like, five years away and that was five years ago? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, one Google car bumped into a bus. Yeah. And everyone, like, flipped out. Yeah. It's a little worrying. I, I kind of like the idea of self-driving, yeah. like in theory, but I don't know if we're good enough to like implement that at this point. Like, like I like the idea of like getting in a car and falling asleep and then waking up the next morning, like in like another province. Yeah, like that'd be cool. Oh yeah, it'd be great. I also think yeah. it's a work in progress. Like in, They're working on it. Yeah, yeah. And like, um, we we'll Like all this, all the stuff that like you can use for. Like with the self-driving cars, like for people who say can't drive themselves or like senior citizens who don't have their licenses anymore and stuff like that, right? Like it's yeah. a really good idea. But like also like what happens if something man- malfunctions and like you need somebody to be able to drive the car? Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's, that's right? the hurdle they're trying to overcome. <clears throat> yeah. It's like self-driving trucks. Like they'll get like somebody driving in the front of like a convoy and the other one, others will follow behind. So. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I think we'll get there. I think so. I think we will. Another 10, 10 yeah, years. It's going to take some time for sure. Yeah. Then again, we still don't have flying cars. so Yeah. Well, we could kind of have flying cars, but we don't. Flying mm-hmm. cars are a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. They'll run into all the Amazon drones. There's a lot of, there's, a, there's enough bad drivers. We don't need more bad pilots. That's true. So. <laughs> well, we need fast trains, apparently. I'm down for that. Well, we're- Weren't they talking about, Mag I don't know, Alberta, they're talking about getting a bullet train from, like, Edmonton to Calgary? Oh, they've been talking about that for years, yeah. and uh, I think but, it's like, dead I don't water. think that's ever going to happen. Yeah, and, like, between Toronto and Montreal, I think, as well, they've been yeah. talking about, uh, like, high-speed bullet. Because they have, like, a couple of those in Japan, the Shinkansen or whatever they're called. Yeah, and Europe, too. Mm-hmm. I think Germany's yeah. got a Like, 400 a really kilometers an hour, like, oh, speeds. Yeah. Like, it's super fast. Like, you need to that's be crazy. somewhere five hours away, and we'll get you there in ten minutes. So, yeah. See, like, I think it would be cool because I feel like it would give people more options to, like, live wherever they wanted and not, like, really worry about, like, where your job was, right? Yeah. yeah. But and it's all imagine magnets. if that thing crashed. Yeah. It's all magnets. Like, God. How do they work? They can't crash. <laughs> as long as the magnets and electricity doesn't give out. Yeah. Yeah, like, what happens with the power outage? Uh, you probably just grind your like, stuff. It would be bumpy, so, but... Yeah. I, I'm sure For the most there. part, they're really pretty safe. I believe so, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's all mag- magnets. You can't turn off a magnet. It's all magnets. How, how do they work? <laughs> no one knows. Oh, just bring a magnet. It's magic. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, man. Um, uh, what else? <laughs> how are we doing for time? Uh, we're 35 minutes in. Okay, we got to pad some. Okay. Uh, I've been catching up on World Chase Tag. Oh, okay. So, oh, how's yeah. that going? Is it, is it like a new season now? Yeah. 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 They're doing it in a backyard. It's a... Uh, uh, World Chase Tag uh, Backyard Flight Club. Okay. 
Sorry, did you say Fight Club or Flight Club? Flight, flight Club. Fight with an L. Okay. Flight. Yeah, okay. it's in a dude's backyard. I'm assuming it's probably, like, the owner, like, whoever runs this stuff. But I could be wrong. I, I have no idea. But, yeah, it's in a backyard. And then you got dudes, like, they got the same kind of setup. Like, we're outside now, so there's more options. Yeah. And, like, you got dudes, like, running up trees and falling into the hedges. They need to uh, They need to bring in, like, the American Ninja Warrior sets. Yo. Actually, Fox tried to rip that off. Did they? Yeah, it was, I think it's called Ultimate Tag. I don't know a lot about it, but uh, yeah, apparently Fox like really, really, really ripped off World Chase Tag. Really? Like they I'm stole not surprised. they stole their tagline and everything. They stole their tagline. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's only one rule: don't get caught. Okay, that's that's, that's the motto. Remember I'm when not, Spike I'm... TV was a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah. But I, I think. Yeah, I think when Spike came out, they tried to introduce this sport, which was basically like basketball with trampolines. <gasps> oh, do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I do. Oh, man. I yeah. can't remember oh. what it's called, but yeah. yeah, I That looked like a ton that. of fun. Basketball with trampolines. And also the uh, the XFL, which was like football, but inside. Yeah, there more, it was like football with more tackling. Yeah, that, that was supposed to be like yeah. a... More springiness. Like a McMahon, like from WWE. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, yeah. I think was was in on that. It's been some weird sports. Well... Amer- didn't uh, didn't inside football like take off for a bit? Or am I wrong? Arena football? I I think it was big for like a year or so. Was it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, remember we when we ta- brought up the island <laughs> with with Michael Bay? I, I'm pretty yeah. sure there's like an XFL uh, <laughs> thing in that because like a football player gets injured and of course his duplicate on the island has to donate their kidney or whatever. Interesting. I, uh, wow. I, how relevant is the island? <laughs> <laughs> not very. <laughs> not re- not ve- very, no. But uh, the, yeah, the remake of uh, American Gladiators yeah. was good. Like the, I think it was like early 2000s. The, the one that gave us uh, Gina Corona. She was in American Gladiators? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yep. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did that. Oh, she destroyed people. I oh, like- yeah. It was... It was she she wasn't pulling any punches. Yeah, it was I, amazing. Like I love the like the nineteen eighties nineteen nineties one. Yeah. Did they still like fire Nerf guns at each other? <laughs> uh, not so much. No. I mean, it's hard. Oh, this was like twenty. Oh my god, was that twenty years ago? Yeah, I guess it was. Well, but uh, no, it was a little more Ninja Warrior kind of ish. Yeah. yeah. But there were still some posteriors being handed out for sure. Oh, for sure. Especially when Gina's I think in the like, ring. Yeah. I think, like, the one thing I remember from... The two things I remember from Spike specifically was, like, uh, the world's deadliest warrior, or, like, whatever, where they kept, like, pitting different warriors against each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Basically, I remember that one. There there was a uh, there was a cartoon with um, Fraser. The guy who plays Fraser. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, uh, he, he turned into a rat. Like, that was the concept of the cartoon. And there was Stripperella with uh, Pam Anderson. <laughs> Stripperella. Yeah. Pam, okay. Which was apparently a Stan Lee idea. Really? Uh, what? Wow, okay. Yeah. And a- apparently some a stripper tried to sue Stan Lee because apparently he stole the idea off of her. Yeah, the guy who created everything? Yeah. You're going to yeah. sue him? Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. There was also, um, they did kind of a, like a fake reality show called Joe Schmo, where like yeah. there was, yeah, there was one guy who was valid and everybody else was actors, including Jonathan Torrance, <laughs> beloved Canadian actor Jonathan Torrance. Wow. Uh, <gasps> Street Sense? St- Street, Remember Street Sense? Street Sense, yeah. yeah. And he had his own like talk show. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And of course then. Uh, Trailer Park Boys? Trailer Park Boys, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he's Shout out to John Torrance. Yeah. What's going yeah. on, dude? <laughs> Miss you. There's like a thousand ways to die, too. I remember watching that. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That was, I think that was 2003, the whole Spike TV thing. And they used to air no. uh, MXC, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, which uh, which was the dubbed like Japanese like game yeah. show. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Oh, trash TV. <laughs> it's kind of great. We, well, it is and it isn't. Yeah, we'll never have those I days said kinda. again. 
Every, everything now is uh, uh, TikTok teens busting up their school's bathroom. Yep. Is that a thing now? Apparently yep. it was for a while. Like schools had to lock teens out of the bathroom because they kept <laughs> yep. destroying it for TikTok views. What? Yeah. It's weird. Sometimes, TikTok's a weird place. Like, sometimes it's nice being out of touch. Yeah. Because I don't know what – why are they trashing bathrooms? Because TikTok told them. <laughs> Yeah, like it was just Is this like, like a Tide Pod thing. Pretty much, it was a trending thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, you want to hear something crazy? You guys remember Logan Paul? <laughs> I, sort of. Yeah. I know he. Uh, he I, I know Is he the him. Suicide Force guy? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, one of the Pauls. Also a boxer. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's more than one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he uh, fought like Mayweather or something like that. Yeah, and like didn't he win or something? Uh, I think I, that they declared sorry. it a draw. Oh, that's like, what it was. And then people were mad because everybody wanted Mayweather to knock him the hell out because, like, nobody likes this kid. Yeah. But, um, anyways, like, apparently he has a podcast. Oh, Good everyone has a podcast. Yeah. We it's have a podcast. Crazy. No, I mean, it's true. Podcast. But, like, I'm it's just weird because... <laughs> it's weird because his uh, podcast is called um, Impulsive. No? Well, because, uh, like, Paul... I get it. Yeah, I get, I get the joke, but... Eh. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. they've interviewed... Uh, who was it? It was, like, Jordan Belfort and, like, uh, Steve Madden and, like, a bunch of, like, big, like, names or whatever. And it's just interesting to watch because, like, some of the questions they ask of is just ridiculous. And you're just like, why would you ask that? Like, that doesn't, like, why? <laughs> it's just crazy. Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey, <laughs> yes. Hey, there it is. <laughs> also, also Beast in the uh, X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. The more modern. Yeah, ones. he was, wasn't he? Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah. Beast, I think, doesn't get enough get enough love. I agree. It's a good yeah. character. He's a very good character. Yeah, I'm just just throwing that throwing that out there. That's all. Uh, yeah, everyone simps for Wolverine. Yeah, our, our Canadian boy. I mean, he does get points for that. Yeah. Okay, like I won't lie, I simp for Wolverine, hundred percent. Yeah, she does. You, Jack. That's my favorite character. Yeah. Well. It's Hugh Jackman. He's a beautiful man. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> Is he? Yes. He's, r- he's rugged. But I don't know if I'd, I'd give him beautiful. I'd give him beautiful. You don't have to be... It doesn't. It's, beautiful doesn't always mean, like, outside looks. You can be a beautiful person, too. Like, it's not just looks. No, I'm talking looks. Did, oh, did, we, did we lose her? No, she's, she's there. She's thinking. No, I'm right here. Yeah. It sounds like you paused. But yeah, no, beautiful. No. A beautiful yes. man would be like, uh, hmm. I'll go with 1980s Val Kilmer. That was, that was a beautiful man. No. Yeah. God, no. No or, way. Or, uh, oh, what's the guy from Titanic? Um, Leonardo? No, the other dude, the bad guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ew. Crap. He was, in, he was in the Tales from the Crypt movie. No. My God, you have no. Those are no. pretty men. No, uh, no. Wolverine, Jackman. He's, he's rugged. He's not pretty. He's he's very unrefined. He's rough around the edges. And that's his. That's that's his appeal. He doesn't have to be beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry I that I, you. I think you're. I think you're missing the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> I'm just body but shaming have... Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Yeah, a little Body bit. Shame, <laughs> that, that's a sentence that has never been uttered yeah. in the world. Body shaming Hugh Jackman. He is a way better human being in every aspect compared to me. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. self burn. Well, he's better looking. He makes more money. Uh, oh. He's a better Wolverine. I could never play Wolverine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just giving him props. But maybe taking him down a peg. You're not beautiful, Hugh Jackman. Deal with it. I, I kind of love, like, the little kind of uh, rivalry, like, he has with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah Dean Gyllenhaal's keep... part of that, too. Yeah. Is he? Is he in on it? Yeah. Because they just yeah, keep trolling kind of the hell out of each other. It... Oh, everybody trolls each other. It's hilarious. Like, um, what was it in, um, I think it was Christmas, like, a couple years ago. It's, like, Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Hugh Jackman were like, oh, Make sure, like, you come to the Chris, like, my Christmas party. Like, somebody was throwing a party, and they in, uh, invited 
the like whoever the other two and they were saying oh hey ryan make sure you wear an ugly christmas sweater and he showed up and he was the only one with the ugly christmas sweater on and like they took pictures and stuff and you could see his face was just like i really hate you guys i can't believe you made me do this <laughs> it's really cute i like the uh macaulay calkin uh t-shirt oh yeah right yes with, uh, uh ryan gosling yeah yep <laughs> so good it's like here's a picture of me of a picture of you with a picture of me me with a picture of you yeah (laughs) i think it's sweet when like people can do that and i'm like i love hearing stories about celebrities meeting their like celebrity i guess like their celebrity like the fan like the people that they're really big fans of yeah like in their own sphere and they're just like freaking out and like geeking out kind of thing i like i don't know i think that's such a cool thing to see who who would you like to meet i make them guys yeah, we know, Chris. You met Gary Gygax in <laughs> the P line. Yep. But but no, uh, yeah. If you, someone that you haven't met yet, who who would you like to meet? That's tough. There's so many. <laughs> That's the problem. Um. Right. Well, I, let's maybe make it like more specific. Like maybe not just meet, but like have dinner with, or yeah, have, ha- have a drink with. Yeah, or, have an evening with. Dinner, yeah. dinner, and chatting. Not just like a handshake. Yeah. Ooh. Like you gotta hang out with a person. Yeah, gets no. Oh man, I feel like I would freeze up no matter like. Yeah. Who who I who it was? Really, they're just people. Like our, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I know but that on the level, there's, but... some, there's something about it though, still, where it's just kind of like, holy crap, this person has accomplished so much in their life, and I look up to this person, and it's like. Ah. But who who would you meet if you the person th- that you haven't met so far? Uh. Oof. I only get one. Ah, yep. I'm gonna go Bowie. David Bowie or or Basquiat. Okay. Interesting. Wait, Interesting yeah. Are we limited to like a living or dead? Or well, let's go living. Living. Okay. Um. Well, that just eliminates the last two answers. <laughs> Everybody who's alive sucks. Uh, living. Uh, I wouldn't mind meeting and hanging out, or I guess having dinner. With a uh, Julian Schnabel. I have no idea who that uh, is. American, Sorry. Pa- American painter. Okay. He directed oh. uh, a Basquiat movie. Where if you haven't seen David Bowie playing Andy Warhol, oh man. It, oh, excellent. It's yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, uh, a painter. He got kind of famous in like the '80s New York scene. Yeah. By smashing plates. Oh, okay. But he went on to like. Be I, a, I've heard of the smashing plates thing. Yeah, and uh, Gary Oldman played him. Oh. In his own movie. Nice. Sorry, this is a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Julian Schnabel might... seems like he would be cool to hang out with. Yeah. Apparently he's a prick, yeah. though. Oh. So that's what I've heard. I don't know. It, yeah. But that's what makes it all the more interesting. Rachel, you got somebody? I have too many. That's the problem. Yeah. Um. Honestly, though, like I would love to hang out with Tom Hardy. I feel like that would be an interesting person to talk to. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like he'd just be like, "Hey, nice to meet you. Want me to mow your lawn?" Like he's he's almost well, he's almost too nice. You know what I mean? No, but that's the thing though. It's like I would love to like, I don't know, kind of pick his brain and be like, "How did you get here? Like what like what drives you? Like I like because I feel like he's played so many diverse roles and he's played them so well too. It's just like I I just love to like, I don't know. I feel like getting to know him would be so cool. I don't know. Like I feel like you could you could sit there and have a beer with them, and it'd be like talking to an old friend. Oh yeah, and and it's gonna be his beer. Like you're yeah, of course. Like, he he's almost like the perfect neighbor. Yep. Yeah. Almost too much. It's like God. Yeah. Well, Tom, actually, Tom it's kind of you funny. You don't wash my car, man. It's fine. It's kind of funny because, like, um, speaking of the perfect neighbor, it's like this couple in New York were was moving, and they were having trouble with this uh, couch or whatever. And this guy showed up and just was like, oh, here, like, let me help you out. Like, moved them in. And, like, when they realized it was Tom Hardy, it was too late. And they were just like, Tom Hardy just helped us move into our New York apartment. Because he was like, all right, like, have a good night. Or, like, have a good day. Like, hope you guys enjoy, like, the view here. It's, like, a really good spot. Wasn't that in Toronto? uh, I thought that was in Toronto. Was it in Toronto? I can't remember. I remember it was a big city. I'm not sure. But, yeah. But, I know, but yeah, I know like the story. That, Where, yeah, wherever it took big, place, doesn't matter. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah would, so it's like I feel like kicking back and having a beer with him would be awesome. Here's my answer. No, he's not giving you a beer. He's oh. he's making you a drink. <laughs> like the way you like it. Okay. 
Mike, Mike has Mike, something to say. Oh. I, I, Dan Aykroyd. Oh, Sit down with some Crystal one. Skull vodka yeah. and like let him talk about conspiracy theories because he believes in like, oh, man, that would, I this, like all the that. mysticism stuff. That would take – I would need to stretch before <laughs> I, I partook in that afternoon. Yeah. Because he's got some stuff to say. Oh, yeah. Like he's, he's got a lot. Like his family is like totally into like spiritualism and stuff like that. So get some, get some of his Crystal Skull vodka and like and if I have to spend an evening with someone – just, you just, going Dan? just let Dan talk. Yeah, just you would just I sit mean, there and listen yeah. to him. It would be no, incredible. Yeah, yeah, and they're like no shortage of conversation for sure. That would be yeah. yeah. That would like, be hey, an awesome. That's an awesome choice. Check out my choice. vineyard and this like UFO. Yeah, that I, I love that. that. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd. Okay. Yep. Steve Martin. Yes. Yeah. It would just be a blast. I just like hang out and jam. Yeah. Because he's a crazy like, musician. Just hang out. Steve Martin's a musician. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Mac, Mac can play a banjo. Yeah, like crazy. He's like, what? I don't know. I, I could be misquoting this, but he's like, yeah, he's like, we're like the best in the world. Like, he's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, look Whoa. up Steve Martin banjo and just sit back and relax because the dude is like, a monster on the banjo. Like the guy who played the Pink Panther. Yeah. The guy who looks like your dad. He does not look like my dad. <laughs> kind of does. No, he doesn't. A little bit. No. A little bit. My dad does not look like Steve Martin. <laughs> Who's in that? A little uh, bit. <laughs> there's a series out now, like uh, only murderers oh, with, can live here, or something. Yeah, like with that. Martin yeah, yeah. Short. Yeah. It's like Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. Yeah, I haven't checked that out. No, oh, well, I, I don't have Disney Plus, yeah. so how could I? I'll have to. It looks really good, actually. I, I I'm probably gonna check it out. So, speaking of Disney Plus, uh, I shared this with Rachel earlier. Apparently, there's like a Muppet Haunted House movie coming out. I'm so excited. <laughs> or a Muppet Haunted Mansion. Didn't they do a Haunted Mansion movie with, like, Eddie Murphy? Yeah, but that wasn't the know. Muppets. So, like, I don't know. Like, so, like when I was oh, watching I it, I'm like, this sounds so familiar. Okay. So I'm wondering if they're taking the same concept but, like, muppet it. I don't know it, what's going what on. you're talking about. So I, <laughs> I, I, I need some explanation, please. Okay, so there's an Eddie okay. Murphy movie with puppets but not Muppets. No, 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 no. No, and uh, I think there's a Disney ride called the Haunted Mansion, and you yes, know how Disney is yeah, I've been with, on it. with making Florida. movies out of their rides, like Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff yeah. like that. So they made a Haunted movie, uh, Haunted Mansion movie back in like the 2000s. Eddie Murphy was in it. Yep. And now they're making a Haunted Mansion movie with the Muppets. Yes. I'm still lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of with you. It's like, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. But, the uh, two are the two movies are not connected except that no they're, they're not the connected at all except they're the haunted mansion yeah okay yeah I'm excited because I love the Muppets and like I will honestly watch every Muppet movie there is um but I don't know like if it's if it's the same thing that they did with Eddie Murphy Murphy like in that kind of sense like I I don't know I don't really remember don't the Eddie Murphy one I don't think anyone remembers like the early 2000s Eddie Murphy movies. I yeah, that was kind do. of during like, his downtime. The past, everything past, like, the Nutty Professor. Yeah. yeah. That, there was that whole, uh, yeah. Pluto uh, Nash. Uh, was, La- Lady of the Night that? incident. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wasn't there, like, a, Frank, what was that one? It was just Eddie Murphy and Eddie Murphy. Murphy? Oh, he went through a whole phase of where it was just Like Eddie Norman Murphy. or something? No, Norbert. 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 Yeah. Norbert. Norbert. That's Norbert. it. Norbert. Norbert. Yeah, he played like a nerd. Yeah. And that was better. Yeah. And he was in a fat suit. Yeah. He's always in a fat suit. Yeah. Oh my god, he is. Or some sort of prosthetics. Yep. Yeah. And, and he was actually pretty good at it. Like coming to America. Oh like, yeah. Especially right, all okay. the, the characters in the barbershop. Yes. Like he yeah. plays an old Jewish guy and like it a was couple good. Of he, he played all those again when the second coming to America. Yeah, he did. Did he? Yeah. I haven't seen it. I did. Yeah. Um it's he, not a it's not a bad watch. It's like a popcorn it's, movie. It's very mediocre. But like it's not. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of. It's, it, it's not. It's not going to live up to the first one. It's a recycle, yeah. not a reboot. Yep. I'm sticking with that, by the way. I like it. But yeah, even like yeah, he he went actually a lot of his movies through like the 90s and the 2000s. Eddie Murphy was like doing double, at least double roles. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That that was kind of his thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it really worked in his favor, but. And then I remember I, he was in like. Oh, Doctor Doolittle. 
Yep. yep. That was a big one too. Yeah, he went through this like 2000s on. He was in basically family comedies. Yeah, yeah he, he, was he was very far removed from his raw days. Yeah, because he used to be so yeah. edgy. And yeah. Like, I got a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> we got McDonald's. <laughs> and then, yeah, he went, just, yeah, weird, like, fat woman suit, family Base. friendly. Yeah. Kinda... Pluto Nash. He tried to, yeah, oh, oh, uh, mm, no, I can't. I wanted to give him Pluto Nash. You know what? I will. I will. Thumbs up to Pluto Nash. I, 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 the only thing I remember about it was that the currency had were Hillary dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't age well. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yep. Well, I, that's, that's an hour. That's an hour? Cool. That is an hour. All right. Well, um, make sure you like. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit us up. Bit you, YouTube, whatever. All of it. Yeah, if you got a suggestion for a topic you'd like us to cover, let us know. Um, my stepdad is suggesting we do a UFO episode. Yes. Okay, just straight I'm UFOs. Down. Just straight UFO. Okay. Oh, I'm so down. Wrong way. We, we can go. do that. We can do that. So maybe next time we'll be talking about just about UFOs. Sounds good. All right, for Media Minute Roundtable, I'm Michael Ford. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. We'll see you next time. <laughs>